Hey guys, Jamie here from Real Steel. Uh, today's project, we are back on the little 318 that we pulled out from the Ram Charger. We're going to kind of pull the top end apart and make sure there's no damage. We may also put air to the cylinders, check the valves, and all that stuff. So, let's get started. Alright, y'all. This is how she, we uh, ended the video last time. I haven't touched this thing. She's still on the stand. So let's get started. We're going to start with the valve covers and we'll see what we got under here. Uh -oh. Stiff valve cover bolt action already. Oh, here we go. Get him out. Now these aren't supposed to be torqued to the moon, so it shouldn't be terrible. Come on. A little bit of dirt. I bought so, yeah. Mm. Alright, got these out. Now, these kind of bolts are kind of cool. These have got a little triangular washer on there so that they distribute the load from the bolt. Because otherwise, with the flat washers, you risk over-tightening them and you'll distort your valve cover. I mean, these can still distort a valve cover, but they're better than nothing. And it looks like these valve cover gaskets may have been changed. I had some of the hold down tips break off and they appear to be rubber, so not sure. But we'll find out. And I'll have to order some, but yeah. I'm hoping we don't gotta go super far, but we'll find out. Alright, let me get this last feller out here. Come on. Stubborn one. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, here we go. This broke loose. Oof, the May. Man, look at that rust. What the heck? I knew it was rusty, but I didn't think it was that bad. Wow. Yeah, we're going to have to definitely do some cleanup there. Uh, people were saying this might be a flood motor, but I don't know. There's no evidence of flood in the vehicle or around the vehicle. And I've been around flood vehicles. There's it's not a moldy smell at all. So yeah, wow. Yeah, I wonder if we should use those valve covers and those rockers. Let me get y'all in here. Man, that rust is flaked up. I'm surprised this thing even ran. Oh yeah, look at that stuff. We're gonna have to vacuum or something. Wow, wow, look at that. Holy Toledo. Makes me wonder if we've got a stuck valve. Man. Man, let me get y'all in frame there. Yeah, holy cow. Yeah, we're going to have to definitely pull these heads. Irregardless, I was hoping we might get away with not having to, but I've got some super clean lower mile heads off another engine. Eh, it was waterlogged, but not this bad. Dang. All I can think of is this thing might have sat... It might have sat in a moist environment or something, but I would think if it was a flood vehicle, the motor would be completely locked up. So, wow, that's amazing. All right, let's keep going. Let y'all sit on the stand here and let's get those rockers pulled off. All right. Now, you want to pull these off evenly. Yeah, there's my cooling wire that Fievel had a lunch with. But you want to pull these off evenly because you could bend the shaft. Now, I never have, but it's just a good precaution. See, this end here isn't rusty, so I don't know. Who knows? Wow. Let's make sure we get all the tension off of them here. Okay, yeah, we got, we're losing tension. And when you tighten them... It's more critical to tighten them even than it is loosening, but still, we're going to take the cost and, Okay, no tension. Uh, he's still got a little... Okay, no tension. Yeah, there we go. And I've got, like I say, the other heads, and I've got another set of push rods. I don't know about rockers, though. I'll have to check my stash. 
man. Oh, and I don't think I've got another engine I can take apart for just for the rockers. Wow. I'm amazed this thing ran, y'all. I really am. All right, get these guys out. Now here. Should have brought a half inch socket for my quarter inch. I don't have power tools, so doing it the old fashioned way. Oops. Dropping sockets. All right, let's see what we got going here. You're out. Let's see what we got going. Oh, yeah. That damage is even worse. Wow. Use the old 440 as a workbench. Wow. Holy Toledo. I don't see any valves that is obviously stuck. So that's a good thing. But we're going to have to pull the heads here anyway. Yeah, take a look at these. Wow. That is some gnarly rust. We'll see if any are bent. As of right now, no. They're just rotten. Yeah, these are going to have to be replaced. No, none are bent. Visibly, anyway. No, they all appear to be straight. I say the moisture is more prevalent toward the front of the motor, so I don't know. Yeah, none are bent. They're just very rusty. Like I say, this is front of the motor. We're going toward the back, so I don't know. Oh, man. We were starting to get oil through them, which is good, but yeah, take a look at this. Yeah, look at all this flaky rust and stuff. Holy Toledo. Yeah, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, these heads going to have to come off of there irregardless. Dang it. I was hoping that maybe those, we didn't have a stuck valve, but I was already planning on it. I mean, the valves seem to be on the same plane. Let's ignore my mess here. Let's grab... My favorite whacker tool here and take a whack at them knowing we're not going to try to break them like old Mortsky did on that one flathead but yeah you can hear him springing back you can hear the spring if if they weren't springing back it would it'd be a more solid sound and you could feel you can feel the vibrate you can feel the spring back too yeah. Yep. They're all springing back, so we don't have a stuck valve over here. Uh, let's get to the other side here real quick. See if I can position y'all in a better spot. Uh, got a good view. Yeah, that's good. All right. Let's see what this side brings. Huh? Whoa, I almost knocked the motor over. That was almost kind of tripping over engines in here. <laughs> That was almost a disaster. Eh. Crisis averted. Alright. Get these babies off of here. Oh. Come on, baby. Man, I just can't believe all that rust. I've, I've seen it on motors that have sat outside in the water, got rain in them, but I've never seen it on an engine that's been in a vehicle before, and that even turned over. I mean, by all accounts, this motor should not have turned over. Probably a little, shows how tough a little 318 is, but let's see what we got here. Okay, or not. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh yeah, this side's the same exact way, y'all. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. Wow. 
Holy cow. Maybe even worse. Let me get y'all over here. It's kind of a tight squeeze. Oh yeah, even worse. Wow. Wow. Holy Toledo. As you can see the rockers started to oil, which is good. But had this motor ran, I'm kind of glad it had a leak. We wouldn't have had, wouldn't have ran very well for long. We'd have clogged something up. But yeah, glad we took it out. Glad I went with my gut and pulled it out. Uh, there's the valve cover. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to reuse these or not. Wow. Holy Toledo. Yeah, I don't know. There's probably rot under that baffle. Why is this motor still turning over? That's my question. But anyway, let's set this to the side here. Sorry, I'm jostling everybody. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's pull this rocker off. This rocker shaft off. Okay. I hope I save some rocker arms, because I'm going to need them. Come yeah, on. There we go. planting season hopefully the crops do good this year kind of an early planting season honestly but that's not a bad thing come on let's get out of there oh you're gonna be stubborn you're gonna be stubborn See, the thing is, there's no rust on the top of this into the throttle body that significant that would say water intrusion. So, I don't know. This is a mystery to me. It's almost like somebody dunked the whole front of the motor into the water. I don't know. Let's we'll see what the combustion chambers reveal here in just a little bit. Oh, are you loose? Well, why aren't you loose? Oh, you're being stubborn. Okay. There we go. There we go. Just a second here. Let me get out. And... Oops, get my arm out of the way. See, the back one's got oil, so... But yeah, man, that's rusty. And they're a little sticky, too. Well, that one's completely stuck, almost. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to have to find rockers for this. All right. Let's see what the push rods reveal straight straight uh, we're getting oil to the tips at the bottom so that one's boy that's got a big huge chunk of rust on there look at that wow hope y'all can see i apologize if not i mean they all seem fairly straight Yeah, they're all straight. They just need to be replaced. So, yeah. Well, let me get reset up, and we'll go after the intake manifold. All right, y'all. Let's get this intake out of here. I'll probably speed y'all up so I won't yap as much.
All right, y'all. Let's see if we can get this intake out of here. Hopefully, there's a decent place. There we go. That wasn't bad. Now, a small block Mopar, you don't got to pull the distributor out to pull the intake. So, that distributor's frozen in place. So, here we go. Okay, that valley don't look half as bad as I thought it was going to. Just a second. Let me put this 50-pound weight down. Or 100-pound weight. I don't know what. This all had to be condensate because look at this valley. This valley's not that bad. What's these flakes here? It came down from the head. So I would expect that if it was uh, flooded that we'd have had a lot more rust. But these lifters look good. Everything looks good. Thank goodness. Now we are going to have some rust fall down from the cylinder head. But I think we can mitigate that. Uh, yeah. That port... Maybe it's Scotia water intrusion, but it's not bad. This flaky stuff came from the intake, I believe. But that's the only one. So, yeah, I think we did okay. We made out. I was expecting a full Rotten Valley pan. Oh, that's a good thing. So, yeah, I don't think it was a flood. So, that's a good thing. So, yeah, let's go ahead. I'm going to clean out. The heads a little bit get all this rusty crap out to where i can get to the head bolts i'll we'll get the manifolds off of it and we'll break the heads loose and see what it looks like inside so let's keep going Snuck this front bracket off here while well, y'all aren't, aren't working, weren't looking. Words, sorry, can't talk. Let's see if we can get these heads off here now. I don't know that there's going to be a really good place to pry, but we'll try. Come on, maybe. I'm not sure. There's really, no good, real good place to, to pry on these bad boys. Well, these puppies aren't going to want to come off too easily. Unfortunately, this is the biggest bar I got right now. Last year, I had some of my tools stolen. Ow, that smarted. That was real smart. Uh, I was staying at some hotel up north, and they were never recovered. I hate a thief. Okay, well, let's see here. We got something down here, yeah. Come on. I didn't forget a bolt. I feel it loose. Oh, I did forget a bolt. Huh. Well, you little bugger you. It helps if you take the bolts all out. Now, where it is... I can't believe that. I forgot a bolt. Oh, well. At least it was just one and it wasn't tight. Yeah, it happens. There he is. He was trying to be sneaky. He was hiding. All right. Let's see what we can do here now. There we go. All right. Let's see what we got. Come here. Oh, cylinders look okay. A little bit of rust where water got into one. But the rest of them don't look terrible. I have got the best light, but we'll figure something out. Uh, yeah. I think we'll be okay. There's no ridge hardly at all on this. Yep. All right, let me bring y'all in. Say, sorry about the light. Maybe my camera light will help. 
Uh, yeah. See that mark, right? Get on focus, Jamie. Right there, valve kiss to piston. So we'd had probably one bent valve. Uh, as far as the rest goes, they don't look bad. There is rust here, but this one might have been at top dead, close. So yeah, can't see any cross hatching, but again, my light's not great. I'll bring y'all back when I get better light, but let's get this other head off. All right, we're gonna have the same issues with that one. Hopefully not. Hopefully I didn't forget a bolt. It does not appear that I forgot a bolt on that one. That's good. All right, let me sneak back in here, here. Okay, where are we gonna pry on? The, there he is. It helps if you take all the bolts out. Okay, the head gasket's gonna come with that one. I don't think that's a factory head gasket. <laughs> Let me get this 500 pound monster out of the way here. Whoa. Yeah, this side looks a little bit better. Come here. Yeah, this side looks way better. Let me get out of the light, but got some rust in there that fell from the head, but that's okay. I don't see any evidence of valve kissage. Which is good. So yeah, I think this motor can honestly go back together. Yeah, I gotta get some light. The cylinders are a little worn, but they're not bad. They're not bad. I've seen a lot worse. There's really ridges negligible on all of them. So yeah, I think we can go back to this. We'll have to get this all cleaned up and stuff like that. But there's a possibility this motor it might have been redone. Now let's see. We can get down here. Let's have a look at this cylinder head here. Sorry, you're looking at my nasty floor. All right. Uh, combustion chambers don't look bad on this one. Plugs look pretty good, actually. It's like somebody put plugs in it and tried to get it running. I wonder if they, the timing chain had broke and they thought, well, that's the problem. Spark plugs, I wasn't getting spark. We can reuse those plugs. Let's have a look at this head here. Oh, man. I expect to find... Uh, I don't see any damage to that valve. That's the one that... Yeah, that's the one that kissed the piston right there, that intake valve. But other than that, I mean, they look good. This one had water intrusion, but it's not bad. Heck yeah, y'all. I think we can save this motor. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. All right. I think next steps, uh, I'm going to turn this thing over, and we're going to get this thing cleaned out and stuff like that, and we'll go from there. So hang on. All right, y'all, I'm not going to make y'all sit and suffer watching me pull an oil pan. You watched me pull one on that off on that 360 video if you watched it. So I'm just going to lap y'all, and we're going to get her done. I'm going to pull it setting up right because if there's any debris in the bottom, I really don't want it getting onto my rods and pistons. So, yeah, let's get going. <laughs>
pin was a struggle bus to get off there. I swear, somebody used red Loctite gasket sealant on there. It made me think I'd left all the bolts in, but unlike the cylinder head, I did not leave all the bolts in. Uh, bottom end looks pretty clean. Uh, some oil residue, a little bit of sludge. Not bad for setting. So, yeah, I think we can do, I think we'll be healthy on this. Uh, did drain the coolant. Coolant looked pretty good. So, yeah, that's a good thing. Uh, I think next step is I'm going to start cleaning this oil pan up, the timing cover up, and a lot of other things up. And I think this thing can go back together. I really do. Uh, I think I've got a gasket set sitting up there with all the gaskets that I need in it. So we'll find that out. I've got a bunch laying here. Uh, as far as the budget goes, I'm just going to price out a whole gasket set because that's basically what we need, even though... I've got individual gaskets I've robbed from the set, but I've got all the gaskets here. So, yeah, we'll just price an individual en engine gasket set into the deal. So, yeah, but I'm going to clean this thing up, and uh, I think we're going to keep going. Uh, hopefully, we can get this by the end of this video. Uh, we should be able to hopefully have this engine fairly reassembled. So, yeah, let's keep going. All right, y'all. It's just a little bit later. Uh... Went ahead and got some stuff cleaned up and all that, but did some video checking, and I think she's gone long enough. I'm trying to keep my videos around 30 minutes. So I oiled her up for the evening, and we're going to go ahead and end that here. Oh, yeah, I did find a collapsed lifter or two, but we'll deal with that next time. But next time, I think we're going to get some gaskets, and we're going to reassemble this bad boy. And if we have enough time... We're going to try to drop her in. But anyway, this is Jamie from Real Steel Auto Works, and uh, we'll catch you all on the flip side. See ya.